Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats. We're in Republican City, Nebraska and Glen Elder, Kansas. And today I'm very glad to show you the brand new 2022. This is the 1875 crossover. Um, this is always our favorite video to do of the year. This is our most popular model. Uh, it's one of those models that's special to us. It just, it really meets a lot of people's needs. Uh, it kind of fits literally everybody. Um, we have fishermen that purchase this boat. We have guys that are just doing water sports that will, that will purchase this boat. I think probably the prototypical crossover customer is a guy that's going to fish 75-80% of the time, but he does want the ability to do water sports. Um, you know, Cherish and I, we would be in this category. We have a couple daughters that are not really into fishing, um, but they do like to go out with friends and do water sports. This is one of those boats that does everything really extremely well. One of the very few boats that will do that. So. Um, in this video, I'm primarily going to show you there are a lot of options with the crossover. They're really important options. Um, we're going to show you in this video exactly how we stock each one so you can see what the options are. So right now we're looking at a blue silver. I also, if you look over here, we have a white silver. And I apologize, I always like to have a black silver in the video. That's actually our most popular color. I just didn't get a black silver in, in, on this last load, but we'll have lots of those in stock as well. Um, the colors that we actually stock, if you just go on our website, um, we have multiple pictures of all the different popular colors that, that we order. So let's talk about the upgrades here now on the exterior. So we're looking at a blue silver. So we did blue gunmetal silver and then the charcoal graphic. The important upgrade on the exterior guys will be this raised logo. We always do the raised logo upgrade. This really sets the boat off and gives it really that classy look. It's an inexpensive option that I think everybody should really get. Um, the other exterior upgrade we always do is the custom trailer upgrade. We believe a good looking boat really should have a good looking trailer. So with the custom trailer upgrade, you're getting the diamond plate fender and then the, the better looking mag wheels. So those are the, the nice looking wheels. Custom trailer is going to give you a standard spare tire. You can see the load guides. Um, it's got a rhino line frame, swing away tongue with disc brakes. And then let's go here to the rear. You can see it's got LED lights and then the retractable tie downs, which are super handy in and out tie downs there, okay? Now, again, the, the crossover is a very popular model for a lot of reasons, but if you look at it, it's literally a big water boat. You can take this in any size water you want. Really nice wide beam. Um, back here, this is a really popular feature. This is the recessed boarding ladder, so the ladder doesn't take up any space, but it's a really nice big four-step four, four telescoping ladder. Uh, retract so big thing there is it doesn't stick out so when you're doing your water sports and things you don't worry about a, a, a rope hooking to the ladder um, another thing that we're doing this year we're going to do a stainless steel prop on all the crossovers uh, the stainless prop really gives you an advantage the guys that are doing water sports that steel prop is going to allow you to corner at higher rpms uh, it has less cavitation so we're just going to this is kind of again by popular demand we're just going to do the steel prop on all the crossovers and we always, always do the 150 horse engine. Um, the 150 is just the most popular engine for this boat. It, it does everything, it has plenty of power. Whether you're gonna fish or do water sports, it, it's, it does an excellent job. Um, we also always upgrade to the hydraulic steering. And I tell people all the time, regardless of your boat model, I highly recommend when you hit 150 horse, um, we recommend doing hydraulic steering. And that's kind of what we do with our stock boats. Anything that has 150 horse or above, we put hydraulic steering on. That's another one of those important options, okay? Now we're gonna go into the interior next. We're gonna move over to this boat. This is one that our guys just rigged for a customer. I like to do a video with one fully rigged with electronics so you can get a really good visual of how, how it looks like rigged. If you look here, the guy's got his transducer mounted here. We always use a transducer board so you're not gonna be drilling a bunch of holes in the transom once you start mixing and matching and changing depth finders. So we always do that transducer board. Um, let's move on the inside and we'll go over the interior features. Okay, so I'm going to start here in the cockpit. So we always do the snap out carpet. So if you look, it's going to have vinyl floor and this carpet will snap out so you have your rathers of what you want to do. You know, if you're doing water sports, it's nice to have the carpet in there. People got bare feet, it's just more comfortable. But if you're going to do heavy fishing, you're going to have bloody salmon or something like that in here, just, just snap that carpet out and makes gives you the ease of cleaning. Um, also, we have, if you look here, we always do the sport top. So the sport top's another popular option. We stock it on all of our crossovers. Notice how it has a really nice compartment to get this thing out of the way. 
It's a very, very versatile top. So we just did a dedicated Lund Sport Top video. If you just go on our YouTube channel and just type in Lund Sport Top, I've got a video that shows how easy this is to go in and out and, and how versatile it is. So you can check out that video. Um, moving back here to the aft, so all the crossovers have your jump seat. So these, these two seats will flip up so you have added seating capacity if you need it. And then fold it down for your casting deck. So you can move one of your fish seats here for your rear casting deck. This is your ski pylon base. Now here's another new thing guys for 2022. The ski package is now standard. So you're going to get the ski pylon and the bow cushions, which we'll show you in a sec there in the bow. So that's a standard feature now. So you don't have to worry about asking for that. That's going to come with it for the 2022. Okay, we've got a really big live well on the crossover. Um, this has got its course uh, timed aerator and it also uh, has LED light, big live well. So they purposely made this live well big because they didn't want to put a live well in the bow because we've got a lot more dry storage up front in the bow. Okay. Back here, I forgot to show you, we've got storage underneath each one of these seats. We've got a crank battery here, and then there's more dry storage up under here. Like so. Okay, you can see we've got gunnel storage here on the port side. Um, one of the big claim to fames again with the crossover is this, this multi-storage compartment in the center. There's very, very few boats that have this. This is one of the big perks with this model. So this is a big, huge in-floor storage compartment. You can use it for whatever you want. Fit, you can put fishing gear, water toys. Um, it, it's multi-storage. You can everybody uses this differently, but it's it's big, long, um, very very nice feature. Now another thing, and they actually improved this last year on your. This is your dedicated rod storage. See how it's recessed above the deck, so it's easier access for your rods and it's much bigger. So this has got 10 full rod tubes in there. So you can get 10 rods in there. Um, this customer opted for the 80 Trova iPilot, which is the most popular trolling motor for this boat. So we've got his onboard charger mounted right there in his rod box. So he'll be able to plug that in and, and charge his trolling batteries right there from, from the spot. So you can see it's got a good spot where it doesn't take up space in the other storage compartments. Okay. So we're gonna move here to the starboard console. Now another thing we always upgrade guys is the air ride pedestals. So all these pedestals are adjustable air ride. You can adjust the height and it also has a seat slider on it so you can slide this forward back. When you do that hydraulic steering you're also going to get tilt steering. They did change the steering wheel this year which I like. It's a very aesthetic steering wheel. Um, now this customer he actually put smart craft gauges on this. We normally don't stock the smart craft gauges so we do do custom builds so if you want to change um, options we can do custom builds which is what this one was but um, I normally don't stock smart craft gauges okay now he did a Lowrance Elite 9 fish finder this is like my all-time favorite fish finder I really think this graph is is the best for the money it's um, very feature rich and very affordable so we really really like um, those Elite 9 so he did an Elite 9 and 80 Trova iPilot um, Let's see, he did the stereo upgrade as well. This has a Rockford stereo. Now we normally just run the kicker stereo. Um, some guys will do the stereo upgrade. We normally don't stock the Rockford, we stock the kicker. So he's got the Rockford on here. Um, if you look here, I think we got a battery in here that's really cool. They added these LED lights. So if you like to night fish, it really lights the boat up really nice with those LEDs and they don't really draw any battery amperage. So that's all good. Um, now another option guys that I think is important are your under console drawers. You want to make sure you, you ask for these because this is an important option. You get you know, extra storage in here is huge because if you don't have these drawers, you know, those, the lower part of this console is almost wasted space. You know? So this is nice to have extra storage here. If we look up front, um, really big glove box. This is very, very spacious. You have a cup holder. Um, and again, you got your drawer here under the port side as well. So we always stock that. Um, now, like I was saying, guys, the part of the reason why this boat is so versatile is, again, because of the bow conversion. So if you look, these are your bow cushions that are snapped down. Now, what I would do with these cushions is I'm actually going to uh, pull that out. Okay, so now we have leg room so they can actually, you know, lay down in here. And if they want to lay, put their feet down, they can. Now, to convert it to fishing, you're going to slide your... Um, bow filler insert in here. Now remember guys, this is an option, so make sure you ask for this because it's very hard to add after the fact. So we always stock ours with this um, bow extension. So if you just pull these cushions out, this is assuming you're not doing water sports and you're ready to fish, 
slide these over here. Okay. So now you can move your fish seats up here. And this really has a very spacious bow, you know, for guys that like to fish out of the bow. Um, it's very spacious, plenty of room for one guy. And there's a lot of dry storage in here too. So both of these are dedicated dry storage compartments. This is your travel cover. We always stock them with the premium travel cover from one. And then you've got another storage compartment here in the starboard side. So, um, and again, if you look at the trolling motor package we did for him, this is the 80 Trova iPilot. We always put it on a detached plate. So if you're doing water sports, he has the ability, he can remove this. So um, that's a very popular uh, trolling motor for this package. So um, hopefully this video helps guys to explain how we stock it and why the crossover is so popular. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always call or email. Terry is in Glen Elder, Kansas, and I'm Travis here in Republican City, Nebraska. Thank you very much.